Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Westbrook. It is very exciting to review this. I mean, I think you guys know this beer. Um, I mean, maybe you don't. This is, a, for me, like an old-schoolish, mid-old-schoolish kind of beer. This is Westbrook Goza. Uh, this was canned about a couple months ago. Um, but yeah, I've been holding on to this for, I guess, not too long, but um, I'm really excited to revisit this. Uh, Visited the brewery when I moved down. Uh, they're out of Charleston, or sorry, Mount Pleasant, or so Charles, uh, not Charleston, which is only about like five miles away. No, sorry, five hours away. <laughs> five hours away. And unfortunately, like, we don't really get Westbrook, which is a shame. Like, you think about, they're actually a pretty large facility. I, I've seen the space. Um, you think we'd get a decent amount of them. Um, I have been planning to do a desert, a desert island. Desert Island Beers video. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but there's no Desert Island Beer for me. Uh, is that a Desert Island Beers? This is supposed to be one of them. So, high expectations. Uh, it's one of my favorite beers of all time. We'll see. Uh, beer comes in a really light straw color. I mean, it's not in gold it's straw. Like, it looks like fit beer. Um, obviously, a ton of wheat in there. Um, yeah, really nice. Wonderful white head. Yeah. <laughs> Salty, briny. Um, it's just, like, sour. Um, it, it, it follows, like, I think, I don't know why it's memorable, but, like, one of my memorable, like, descriptors of Spear, one of was, like, it's like it just smashed a bunch of lemons into the beach. And it's, like, sandy and salty and salt water and lemony. It's, like, has a little bit of margarita kind of thing going on. Um, obviously not lime, but lemon. A little bit limey. Uh, it, it's lactic acid, so there's no actual addition of actual uh, lime or lemon juice in here. But And then the floor element of the coriander is really pretty. One of the issues I have with uh, Six Points um, uh, Goza was it's just so soapy. The coriander they're using so floral and soapy, soapy. Uh, here it gets citrusy. It's citrusy coriander. Oh, intoxicating. Smells good. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful, sharp acidity with this view, uh, wonderful kind of yogurty tone. Sharp, white, tart yogurt. You're thinking tzatziki, um, you're thinking just like, you know, just eating plain old yogurt, plain yogurt, plain Greek tart yogurt. Um, used to doing that, you know, just healthy that kind of thing to eat. Uh, not that sweet, just tart, acidic yogurt. It encapsulate, uh, encapsulates um, uh, lactic city. Really beautiful. Um, it's lemony for days. The, the, the coriander, I think, is just altering this really kind of wonderful, like, zesty, lemony kind of tone to it. Playing with the lactic city. So you're getting lemon. It's like Greek yellow, uh, yellow lemon yogurt. It's so Greek. It's very Greek. It just tastes, um, it tastes like I just want to smather this on top of a, a, a hero sandwich, you know, um, with no dill. So add dill into the spirit. Um, clean, acidic. The salt is really nice, kind of rounding balance. You don't really taste salt, but it has this really beautiful, like, you know, like, I, honestly, I, I, I tend to do what all restaurants do, at least with my cooking. I tend to oversalt things. You know, it's just things are tastier when there's more salt. And I, Jill, you can't have goza. Um, you know, you go, you go to a restaurant, there's, there's a reason why you're paying money, and the reason why it's so delicious. There's always more fat, there's always more salt, there's always more sugar, right? And, um, and there's always more, like, balance and, and focus on all those other things but you're amping up everything right here the salt just like rounds that acidity really really beautifully um there's little kiss of sweetness in here from that malt a little crackery sweetness a little doughy um terribly refreshing and then it dies away it just goes away and the beer is freaking four percent it is under uh bud light it is under Pills in your quell, and it's so flavorful and impactful and refreshing, tart and acidic. And yeah, this is a beer that you want to think of, and you like focus on the little elements of sweetness and acidity and, and fruit flavors and the coriander and the salt balance and all that cool stuff. Or something you just crush and just not think about. Like, I could just do this all day. The city is a little sharp, <laughs> I will say. I think maybe your palate after two or three probably like uh, acclimates to it, but I like the refreshing to say that first hit is just like I just came home from work, took a shower, and man, this is just like a little, it's a like Gatorade, it's a Gatorade kind of thing. It's more acidic than Gatorade, but it has a bouncing uh, saltiness to it, and it's just ooh. again. I talk about my desert island beers. This reconfirms.
Uh, reconfirms? I guess reconfirms at work, right? Um, I'm definitely one of my Desert Maryland beers. It is so tasty. It is so tasty. Um, again, one of those just well crafted beers. You know, for a while, I probably was rating beers more for impact and, and, and boom, boom, boom. But like repeatability, um, impact. Impact, there's impact here for 4%. There's a lot of impact here. There's a lot of flavor for this guy for 4%. And then like uh, utility and repeatability, like it just crushes that. Yeah, okay. This might be a crazy rating. <sighs> I mean, it has to be one of my Desert Island beers. It's just, like... <sighs> if it's going to be one of my Desert Island beers, it has to be, like, stupid high, right? I don't have to... Okay. We're good. I mean, you guys, you guys, if you guys have watched the channel for a while, like, I, it, the, the, what the reviews or the, the ratings mean is very, um, I probably should, like, do a video about that, but, and do it again, because, like, it's been a while since I've talked a, bit, but a video about what my rating system actually really means, and in the end, um, the, the numbers don't really matter. At least I try to, like, that's the goal, like, don't just, like, quickly go into the description and look at the um, the, the, the number. It's, it's really more about what I talk about, like, you know, like, to me, it's more important to talk about, like, why I got there. Um, I mean, logically, it makes no sense for it not to get a 100 out of 100. 100 out of 100, why not? 100 out of 100, like, this is one of my desert island beers. I'm going to love it. Like, the repeatability and the drinkability of it is way too high. I'm um, sure it doesn't have, like, the most, like, bells and whistles. and um, But for 4%, like, man, there's so much flavor for 4%. And um, it's one of the beers that, like, also repeatability, like repeatability has got to be something that like is very useful. There's beers that are like very tasty, even like they don't have to be like barrel or pearl stouts, but there's beers that are like impactful, tasty, repeatable, but like do you always want to go for it? Like this is a beer that like if I had a case of it, it would just disappear. If, if, if I could and it was like reasonably priced, this would just sit in my fridge all the time. I would just always have it. Like I would come home, 4% crush it, like no problem, right? Like like, like the utility of this beer is incredible. Um, you really feel like you're satiated with the beer because it's malt and you're not drinking hard seltzer. Um, you have really beautiful acidity. The, the salt offers this alkaline kind of thing that like, you know, reminds you of Gatorade and like you can come home and just like, hmm. Or you can do it on a hot day. You know, there's multiple utilities. The repeatability is always there for this beer. It's 100 of 100. This goes is perfect in my mind. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe there's a local um, Florida Goza that like remotely tastes this good. Um, like, what is it like Margarita Goza from like uh, uh, Cigar City uh, does something similar, but there's nothing like this. Such a shame. Westbrook, I'm gonna write you. I should write Westbrook an email like, please send me more like Westbrook Goza. Like this is just one of my favorite beers of all time. After uh, having tried almost. Somewhere between five to ten thousand beers. This has come to be one of my favorites of all time. 